Hello, welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics, as if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. Here in Vegas, we have, I think, sort of a unique thing where we have these um, pool restaurants where like if you get a cabana or a day bed there's usually like a restaurant that serves that and you can't go to the pools here unless you're like staying as a guest or if you rent a cabana so at the cabana pool at one of my local casinos they serve the most delicious breakfast sandwich I have like ever had in my life and they put on it what they call backyard sauce and I don't know what that is, but I've been trying to recreate the breakfast sandwich or at least the experience I had when I ate it. To start, I got these beautiful brioche buns from Panera. I'm gonna pop one of those in the toaster. Try my new air stick over here by the stove top to see. I get so tired of propping you up on my stove top. So I've got some butter in my pan. I'm heating my pan up and I'm gonna cook two eggs, fry two eggs. I'm gonna fry them a little bit harder than I normally do. Um, because I want the rope, the rope, the yolk to be runny-ish, but I don't want a huge mess. I have my heat on medium high and I'm covering my eggs. Commentary on the air stick and many other holders is that I need you to be able to tilt the camera just a little forward so that you can see down into like the food. Um, then I, this holder is pretty good, but air stick is not as good. I'm gonna preface this with I do not like ketchup. I'm not a big ketchup fan. I'm not somebody who's all about ketchup. Um, I I really only like ketchup on fries. I use it in cooking like certain things. Like I think it's good in a meatloaf, um, good on a hamburger, but I don't actually like ketchup. But I've been trying and trying and trying and trying to figure out what was it about that backyard sauce? Mayonnaise, best foods mayonnaise, and the tiniest little bit of ketchup. And I'm gonna tell you, if it doesn't make it taste like ketchup, it just gives it like this subtle, let me show you, subtle sweetness. Um, and this, I figured it out because obviously the sauce was like this orangey pink. And I was like, what is making that subtle sweetness? It tasted like mayonnaise sauce, but it had this subtle sweetness and I couldn't figure out what it was. And it didn't taste like ketchup to me because I don't really like ketchup. But guess what? It definitely was ketchup. And you can probably think of a thousand special sauces that look just like this right even yum yum sauce a lot of yum yum sauce has these two components now there might be other things and i'm maybe in the backyard sauce there's other things but this totally did the trick say for ye who judge taste before ye judge because i don't like ketchup either but it's delicious so our sauce is ready our eggs are cooking our bun is toasting I pre-roasted bacon this week, like I've shown you in another video, which I can tag here. And so this is just cold right out of the fridge and I'm gonna use it just like that to assemble. I've got my toasty bun. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, or a lot of it, of this backyard sauce, special sauce, just in the center, because when you squish down on it, it's gonna squish out. So we're just gonna put it in the center of the top and the bottom, duh. Hello. Oh, I feel like I should have made just a smidge more. It's so delicious. Put a little pepper on my fried egg. And like I said, I cooked these more than I normally cook them um, so that they aren't too runny because it'll just make a huge, crazy mess. Stack them up. Pre-roasted bacon. I roasted this bacon a couple of days ago. And we're just gonna... It's come to room temperature. It's been sitting out for a couple minutes. We're just gonna stack our, well, that egg is gonna run though. I can feel it. And that's what I want. One of them is harder than the other one. I want a little runny, but not too crazy, right? Pop on, give it a little smash. I didn't put any cheese because I just don't think it needs it. And I didn't put any salt because I feel like uh, with the mayo and then the bacon, you have plenty of salt here hot but messy food is the best right i mean look at that oh. mm. <laughs> mm. it is so close to the taste of that breakfast sandwich i had at the pool oh my god it makes me think i'm in a cabana I'm at the spa getting a massage. Oh, I'm getting a little egg drip. I popped my egg. Mmm. Don't worry, we'll mop that up later. 
that brioche bun, that backyard sauce, that tiny tweak takes what is just a totally ordinary breakfast sandwich that I've had a thousand times to that one little level up. And you gotta try those tiny things to see which one of those tiny things is gonna elevate your meal. Because I know a lot of you comment, like I'm so sick of ramen, I'm so sick of spaghetti, I'm so sick of like all the things that are easy to make when you haven't been taught how to cook. This is not hard, I will tag how you roast the bacon, I can tag how you make the eggs. But that tiny little thing of adding a sauce, it doesn't have to be this sauce, you might find some other sauce that you love. You might be a mustard girly, you might be a relish person, whatever. That's not the point. The point is like this experimentation is how you go and make like perf perfection. This is, I wanna eat this every single day of my life, okay? So I gotta go, I gotta eat this. I love you guys.